Every year, all of the men folk in the Hyde family, including the in-laws, like to get together for an early morning and an all-day fishing event at Fish Lake. We were in Alaska, or Fish Lake. It might have been Fish Lake. It was a cold June morning. So there we were, walking around in the forest, when all of a sudden we see a boat. And we're like, like get in that boat and go out there and, and get you some fish. Before we took off, we were all in the boat. We are about ready to take off. And Scott Ryan said, well, maybe we should have a prayer. As always, we began every fishing trip with a prayer. So Terry called on uh, Matthew to say the prayer. And, and he gave a wonderful beautiful prayer. But then he uh, very quickly wraps up the prayer and says, It was something like, let us all catch great amounts of fish or something. Um, or what was it? We'll cut, hold on. That we would catch the uh, fish, the sizable fish that our heart desired. I asked that we would be blessed to catch the fish of our heart's desires. Anyway, after he says that, we all say amen and um, there's kind of some chuckles and everyone sort of giggled a little bit. Snickered at that. Well, we didn't have a lot of luck. We kind of started off slow and we were just trolling around the lake and all of a sudden, Matthew, from what I remember, said that he thought he had a snag on his line. Matthew threw his line out. That's pretty much the last thing I remember. Um, just within, it was just within, I think, a half hour or 45 minutes of when we had started fishing, Matthew gets this huge tug. And oh boy, what a tug it was. I'm reminded of Dr. Seuss in that line. It was a fantastic tug. Matthew, the legend, he began to pull and he pulled and he pulled and he pulled until that fish came in and we fought with the fish for two hours. It took a half an hour to land that monster. It took about 35 minutes to reel in. So it takes him about half an hour to five hours to reel this thing in. I think it was like 45 minutes. It took him 15 years if it wasn't two minutes. So he let us all give it, hold on to the pole to feel how big it was. Hold on, hold on, let him come back. Bring him back around. Did you get a picture? Well, no, no, I got a picture of you guys. We'll get plenty of pictures later. Nobody really suspected that it was, you know, any, any kind of amazing fish, but it was, it was a pretty good fighter. We were all just imagining what was at the other end. When it finally got up to the boat and we could see it, I mean, it was a monster. The thing was so monstrous. Have you seen Jaws? You could see this huge shadow kind of going back and forth in front of the boat and everybody's looking out and I remember Ben's reaction was, was this huge, like well, the moment he got a glimpse of it, he, he almost couldn't even contain himself. This is gonna be... Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, look how big that is. There he is, there he is. Can you... Oh my gosh, it's 20 pounds. I remember looking over at the side, catching the first glimpse of it, and being actually scared. Scared to death. You get a little freaked out. Everybody was freaking out. We actually jumped back like a bunch of little girls. We screamed like small school children. Little girls. And then when we got it to the boat, no one dared to pick it up. Who's gonna reach down and grab it into the boat? We thought we were done for. Dad came to the rescue. Well, Dad finally stuck his hands down the jaws of death. Dad rolls up his sleeves, looks at us in a, uh, with a look of disgust and utter embarrassment, leans over, grabs the fish by the gills, and just yanks him up on the boat. And there you have it. When we pulled it in and we threw it on the deck, everybody was like high five, and it's like we all accomplished this huge feat together, even though Matthew was the one who pulled it in. <laughs> We didn't really catch a whole lot of anything except for a huge 19 pound fish, which was the fish of my heart's desire.